What's up guys, Shadow King X279 here, and I'm here to clear up all of your questions and confusions. I'm so, so sorry guys, my laptop has been broken for a while now. So, I'm very, very, very sorry about this long wait for the smart pad video and how to set it up and everything, but guess what? Here we go right now, judging by the video title, you guys click this video to see how to set you up a smart pad. You want to do light shows like I showed you in Mako Beam, and I understand that. So I, today, I'm actually going to get the chance to show it to you. So, as you can see, we're in Ableton right now. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up. Go to Options, Preferences, and if you're not on MIDI, Link MIDI already, you can go to Link MIDI. Okay, what you want to do is obviously plug your smart bed in. So, let's do that. There we go. Now, once your smart pad is plugged in, the next thing you want to do is it should look like this. It should say smart pad, smart pad, input and output. What you want to do is you want to turn remote on, and you want to turn remote on on output as well. Then turn track on on output. This is your setup. Next thing you're gonna do is go over here to where it says control surface, and you're gonna set, you're gonna click launch key mark two. It should be like right here. Then you're gonna hit smart pad, and you're gonna click smart pad. This is basically your setup for your smart pad. If you want to do light shows, so far this is what you got to do. And now we're here. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to set up. In general, let me explain. Let me take your attention to the smart pad for a minute. So, as you can see here, this is the clip button, and this is mode one, mode two, and set. So, for this tutorial, there's only two things you're really gonna need: clip and mode one. Now, I'm gonna explain. Clip is like session mode in, no in the Novation Launchpad, you know, the normal stuff. Clip is like session mode, but unfortunately clip is the only way you're actually going to be able to do any kind of light shows whatsoever mode one is for drum rack so let's say you didn't want light shows you just want it to light up a certain color you want to just do it that's what you do in mode one it's basically just you know just drum rack do whatever you want drum rack kick snare kind of drum rack just for example I'll go over to audio or not audio drum and then just put th just throw a chord in here Just throw a core rack in here. There you go. Now, really quickly before I move on, the way the smart pad is laid out is different from every other thing. This is the bottom. Well, if you're on drum mode, this is the bottom, and this is the top. So it'll be these four going up, like it'll go up like this like this so the way it goes is from this side all the way up then from this side all the way up that's how the smart pad is laid out this up and then this up that's on drum rack mode and then with that usually that would be down here on a launch pad but now it's up here so the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is move around drum clips so let's say I want my kick to go right here but my kick is over here so I'm going to hold the kick down and click and hold it I'm going to hold this button down and I'm gonna set it on that spot. So now I kick is over here. But I want the snare right here too. So I'll grab my snare and throw it right there. Just like that, I've already moved drums from over here to over here where I want them to go. And one more time, let's say I wanted this kick mod. And I want it to go here. I can click on hold this kick mod hold the button here drag it over to where I want it to go where this little green button or this little yellow button is and let it go just like that now there's this those are where I wanted them to go because I dragged them there so now that's exactly how you move your drums to where you want them to go now I'm gonna explain clip mode in mode 1 
clip mode is actually what you're going to use for your, you know, your light shows. The problem with the smart pad that I've come into so many times is that the only way for you to have light shows on this thing is a full blue background and red light. You can't change the light color on this. It's not RGB. It's locked to certain colors. That's the only thing I really hate about this thing. And I know you be, you may be pressing down on your buttons and you're like, oh, these buttons are pretty stiff. I wonder if they're velocity. They're not velocity. They're not velocity sensitive at all. So the way it is is the way it is. These buttons are not velocity sensitive. They're just that. Now, another thing that you know is in mode one, you might see that the, you know the lights are blue, but I don't have any kind of MIDI tracks over here that's you know setting to it. Well, that's because the launch, like I said before, the smart pad is locked to colors. Mode one is locked to blue. Clip is locked to red. Mode two is locked to red as well, as well but I don't really use it. I'm not completely sure about that one. But anyways, for now we're going to the light shows. If you want to do a light show on your smart pad, Mini Plus smart pad, you're gonna have. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up an example real fast. I'm gonna actually I can just do this. So the way you want to set this up, you'll see MIDI two and MIDI from. You can do launch key mark two input smart pad here, and click that, or you can just hit all ends. It's just up to you. But I'm gonna click the launch key. The next thing you're gonna do is MIDI two, and you're gonna click on your smart pad. Channel one. On, t on, t on the clip mode so now this is laid out and it's doing what it's supposed to you turn this on and now whenever you press a button it counts so you might as well just light up all these lights because that's what you're gonna have to deal with forever so now this one now going into how to make the light shows any launch pad tutorial you watch on how to make light shows would help you with this rather than what I'm giving you right now. So, if you want to start from fresh and you want to make a light show, you know, just in Ableton, normal stuff, you're going to have to go over here to MIDI effects over here, and you're going to drag a MIDI effect rack into here, into this little instrument open area down here. Make sure you're selected on MIDI. Just create a new track, set up your configurations over here. And then this is what you'll have. Now, once you drop that MIDI effect rack, you should have something that looks like this. What you want to do is click on this button and click on this button. Now, what that's going to do is give you your macros so you can deal with what you want to map to things. And this will give you your MIDI effects opening area. So you're going to click chain and hit MIDI. And then you're going to have all this. So, actually, don't click MIDI yet. The first thing you want to do is right-click this little orange thing and hit Map to Macro 1. Now it's here. Now you're going to hit MIDI, go to Macro 1, a.k.a. the Chain Selector, and you're going to hold down 1, and you're going to hold down 8. Now you're going to let that go, and now these buttons are mapped to your pages. Now you're going to click on this little Max thing. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I, hold on, let me just check. Okay. So now you got it. Channel one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All of these are your chain your page selectors like on a normal launch pad. Now the next thing you're gonna want to do is add some lights, obviously. So you're gonna go to key and you're gonna come over here. So for instance, chord effect. Now what you're gonna do is see since this is on and this green bar is on all of the notes meaning that if you press any of these this effect is gonna play so let's say you only want it to happen when you press this note you're gonna hold this note down double click it and there you go now it's only gonna happen when you press this note this one right here so the next thing you want to go is go over here just for an example so that way if you want to make a launchpad project this way you will know so holding this button down now you can see that it's gonna activate this note. now over here in chord effects the launch pad unfortunately goes by 16 by 16 so if you click here and you do 16 it goes down one plus 16 makes you go plus it makes you go down minus makes you go up so if you did plus 16 you go down one if you do plus 32 you go down two 
And if you do plus 64, well, 64, my bad, I overcounted that a little bit. Mm, all right, well, you get the point. Plus 16, plus 32, these are going down too. Now, if you want to go up, you just do minus 16. And if you want to go up again, just do minus 32. And just like that, you have that. Now, what if you wanted one here and one here? So you would press the button and you would take this minus to a plus 16. And now you have this. Now, if you want to go left or right, it's the same way. You just do plus 1 and minus 1 to go back and forth. Now you have this little shape. So there you go. That's how you work the chord. Now, the next thing is arpeggiator. If I want to add this into this effect on this button, I just drag it right here into this blue line. So, if I what if I wanted to go, you know, I wanted to make it really fast. Or what if, so here's the thing about the arpeggio if you put it behind it flashes the whole chord and the rate controls how fast it flashes so if you put the arpeggiator in front of the chord effect it makes it fluctuate like this you can choose chord trigger or you can choose random author you can just make it as fast as you want that's the only downfall to using a launch pad or smart pad because it's blue and it's got to be red or pink. That's basics on how to work this, and you can just do different kind of effects with the chords. Okay, so the next and last thing you can do if you want to make a light show is use Exegis plugin for the light show, aka. Exegis, MIDI Plus, not MIDI Plus, Launchpad Pro and Launchpad Mark II, all that stuff. Their plugin, or Exegis, his plugin, I'll leave a link to his channel so you can get, you know, figure that out. His plugin to get stuff like a light effect to work. And when I say light effect, I mean, like, let's say I was on this clip, right? On this MIDI clip. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me remove this and make another one. So now I'm going to go on here and turn this one on, make this for smart pad, channel 1, and you're good. The next thing you want to do is highlight any area so it looks like this. Press Control shift m and there's your MIDI clip. Or you can just drag an area, right click and hit, and ex not export, but insert MIDI clip right here. So in here, what you want to do, pull it up, and then you have this thing. Shift, or not shift, but click on it. And now you can press buttons on the smart pad and it'll happen up here, as you can see. So, a simple effect would be a wave effect. So, you're going to hit this, you're going to press the right arrow key, and it's going to make a clip. It'll make a little MIDI file, like a note. So, when you click it, or you press the space bar, that note will play. So, I'm going to draw a quick little effect here just one of those quick ones one just a really quick effect I just want to take about a minute and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Do it one more time, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna take this whole entire little thing here, and I'm gonna copy that and paste it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to reverse it, too. And 
anyway, something like that. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put it where it belongs to the very bottom, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, we'll use this first part here. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a MIDI file. I'll leave a link to someone's channel that's really good at making these if you don't know how to. Um, Insper Asper is great at light shows. His light shows always come out phenomenal. So, for instance, I got this from his channel. You just make a little, you know, waves and stuff. And this, this is what your outcome is, what your speed of the lights up. Basically, that's what your outcome is right here. Anyways, let's say I wanted to take this and put it onto my launch pad, um, to my, my smart pad. How am I going to do that? Well, you're going to take your mini clip here, right click on it, you're going to hit export to mini clip, put it wherever you want, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call it half wave. No spaces. You can do half dot wave or something like that. There. No spaces though. So now I got this, this little MIDI clip thing. So let's say I wanted to put it on my on my on my um, smart pad. So you're gonna take it, and now you have it. It's right here. Import tempo signature, yes. So now if I click on this and I play it, it plays what I had before. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. There will be a plugin that I will leave the link to on Exegesis channel in the description on how to, or I'll leave a tutorial for Inspire Asper on how to do this. Basically, you will set up the plugin, and it's, it's the easiest plugin, which allows you to take a MIDI clip, such as this one here, and you're going to be able to press a, any button on your launch pad, and you're going to be able to take this clip and put it on that button, and when you play it, basically, it's like pressing play right here. It'll play the MIDI effect. Like in most of Coscobe's videos, I'm pretty sure you guys know how that works. And that's basically how I made Mako Beam. I just looked at his... Um, lights remade them into a midi clip and then i just placed them onto the on smart pad placed them onto the smart pad in the respected location with the actual track and that was it the very last thing i'm going to cover here is an actual project such as frag out and i'm going to take that project and i'm going to put it i'm going to show you guys how it stage a normal launch pad project into a smart pad project the drum related section so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna oh you're gonna load it up oh no, no nothing's where it's supposed to be so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit on clip and like I said again if you want the LEDs which are not gonna be perfect because you're gonna have to redo them I will leave I will leave links in the description to light shows that I've already made so MIDI 2 again launch key channel 1 and you're gonna hit this if it says in, you don't have to. If it says auto, you have to click this. So otherwise, in this situation, in, you don't have to click it. So in this situation, all in, and you have your setup. So now you should be able to play it. On session, on go into clip mode, and on your rack. This is all that remains. All this stuff here is all the whole entire song, so you don't have to worry about changing clips and this and that. So. It, you want this to play like Frag Out from Ultimod. For instance, I would, in clip mode, this is the weird, 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 weird part. So all of these are separated over this whole entire area over here by two. So for instance, this, these four here, right here, and these four are two on top of each other. But these four and these four are two below those. So these four here and these four here, but side by side, are these and this. These are a whole entire, see as you can see, they're a whole entire three, three spaces away. So knowing that, you're just going to have to listen to the key and press the button as it goes. For instance, this button right here, we know that goes at the bottom left of our smart pad. So we're going to click and hold it and put it there. 
and you're just gonna have to keep remembering. See, that goes there. The next thing is, let's see here. So this, this snare, it goes here. It's gonna be weird. I guarantee it's gonna be really weird. Kick's gonna go here. But at the end of it, it's all really spread apart. It's really crazy and weird. It's spread apart and all the other stuff. All you gotta do is put it where it says it goes, or where the video looks like, or it's good if it has a tutorial so you know. The gasp is gonna go here, so it's gonna go down here, the second one. And this one goes here. The last thing you need is these two, which are gonna go here and here on that same row, which would make it so you can do this. On clip mode. Now that's the first step. And again, if you want to do that MIDI effect thing, just go to lights, delete this, because you're not going to be able to play it on your smart pad. Make a MIDI track. Remember, make a MIDI track. If you want to, you can click in, but I'm going to click auto. Click this. You're going to have to hit control and then click in order for both of them to be on. Then you go into your MIDI. Remember, MIDI effects. MIDI effects rack. Click this, click this. You're going to hit chain. Click on the orange thing. Right click it. Map it to macro 1. And then you're going to do the mini mapping. As so. This max needs to be changed to 7. So just hit 7 and press enter. And that's it. Now you're configured. You can switch pages now if you want to switch pages. Or you have a launchpad project that needs pages switching. There you go. And again, with the MIDI effects, I'll leave links to how you get Exegis plugin and install it. And I'll leave links to how you get a, a better tutorial with doing lights than I do. Because I do MIDI effects, and put them on a clip, take that clip and put it on you know, one of those. Take that clip and put it onto one of these buttons, press it, and then the MIDI effect happens. That's how I did Mako Beam. I hope this tutorial helps you understand it better about how the smart pad works up here and then up here I hope you guys understood how the smart pad exactly is laid out and how it's supposed to you know how it works basically remember on mode one it's this way all the way up here and all the way up here and clip mode it's four a whole entire row to two bars and then space three go down these four or these eight are another two bars then you go down three more these four, eight are another three bars, and so on and so on until you hit the very bottom of the whole entire thing. That's how this smart pad works, and I hope you guys have a better understanding of how this whole thing is set up. So thanks for watching the video, and if you have any questions, or you need help on how things work, or you need any kind of any kind of help, just let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Thanks for watching the video. 